Okay, so just today, Minecraft released its first snapshot for the 1.17 update. I'm so excited. Let's hop in here and make a new world and let's get to it. And here we are. Okay, so right off the bat, there's so many things to discuss, but first and foremost, let's go find these new caves. Whoa, I found some mountains. Are there any goats up here I can see? Goat? Oh, those are llamas. All right, let's pop into spectator mode and let's just go try and find a cave real quick. I need some night vision first. Oh, I see purple. I see tons of purple. Oh, looky here. We found the amethyst. What are these called? Gyodes? Geodes? I don't know how you say it, but look at this. Ooh, we got small amethyst buds, amethyst cluster. Whoa, this place looks awesome. Even listen to the sound. Whoa, I'm dumb. Look right there. Copper. Copper ore. There's new stone, which is called tough. Calcite. Whoa, this is interesting. So it appears that these amethyst little geodes, whatever you call them, are surrounded by this new block, or these new blocks, tough and calcite. So these are kind of like the outer shells for the amethyst. And when you walk on it, it makes a beautiful noise. So apparently the amethyst just kind of grows in here. So maybe it's by way of these buds that they just grow into like bigger clusters like that, but really cool. Now let's see, can I bone meal them to speed up their process? Is that a thing? No, I can't. I figured. So I guess in survival, you just mine these. And yes, there you go. That's how you get amethyst shards. Okay, that is awesome. Whoa, it's changing colors too. And I can break these blocks. I thought they were going to say that you couldn't take these blocks with you. Oh, maybe. Okay, so I guess some blocks are different here. I don't know. To be determined, I guess. Now I'm seeing a lot of these amethyst pockets, like a ton, so they're very common. Now off this first flight, I'm already gonna assume that there's no new cave generation yet because I don't see any differences at the moment, so, oh, maybe here, oh, it's just two ravines. Now, so new generation is on the way, but not yet. So next up there are bundles, right? Oh, there it is, a bundle. Oh, and there's more amethyst things, but okay, so bundles. So apparently you can just like open them up. Wait, how do you even access the bundle? Oh, you just put them, okay, wait, no, how? Oh, so that's interesting. So when you right click it to put things in, it fills up. You can do up to a stack of stuff. So you see here I have 32 oak, 32 spruce, or I could just do 32 or 64 of all one kind of wood. It's very interesting. So I guess there's not much to this. It's cool. It has a little animation too when you take things out and put it back in, but uh, not the most interesting thing in the world, but still cool nonetheless. Now, apparently we also have candles. Whoa, whoa, there's different colors. I didn't know that. All right, there's candles. This is so inter- Oh, you can stack them like sea pickles too. And how do you light them? Do you use like flint and steel maybe? That's so cute, they actually light up. Oh wait, my particles are off, aren't they? Yep, all right, put particles back on. And yes, whoa, everything's all here at once. But yes, look at that, that is awesome. The black and gray ones look really cool. Those are like very uh, rustic looking and like very good for ambient lighting. Like these bright ones, they're okay, but the dark ones look super useful and I'm super pumped. Huh, so when you stack a lit one with another one, they all become lit. Interesting. Now I'm hearing these things are water loggable, but you can't light them, right? No, you can't. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, I guess it's not that interesting after all then, but I mean, kind of cool. <laughs> okay, this is not like a new, new thing, but a kind of new feature is you can put lava in a cauldron. That is really cool. That is an awesome little thing they did. That's gonna look great next to like a blacksmith shop or something along those lines. That's great. Whoa, that is a lot of copper stuff. Okay, I thought there were just like the different kinds of blocks, but there's also an ingot and an actual block? Oh my goodness. Can I make a beacon out of this thing? What a strange block this is. All right, well, the ingot, I guess, is used for something, right? You use the ingots to make a lightning rod, which is this thing. Oh, and that's, okay, so that makes it when there's a lightning storm, this gets struck more likely, I guess. I don't know. Weather thunder? Can I set lightning to, oh, I'm in the snow biome. Pfft. All right, let's test this. Let's put down a lightning rod on this tree and we wait for lightning. Now, while I wait, apparently lightning rods emit redstone when they get hit with lightning. So why don't we do this and just see if it actually does anything. Let's make a little lamp redstone thingy here. And now we wait. Whoa, okay, it worked. That scared the bejeebas out of me. It works. 
Now for this copper, there's a normal variety, then there's a waxed variety, which doesn't actually change state. So if you guys are new here to this whole update, these versions will change over time. They'll kind of like become more rusted and oxidized, but a waxed version stays put at that current state forever. Now apparently for copper, the weathering process is like almost 80 Minecraft days, so this might take a long time, but I wonder if I up the tick speed. Random tick speed, we're just gonna do a billion. That's probably not a billion. Is it working? I really can't tell. It might take still a few minutes. All right, fine, we'll go higher. We'll go two billion. Oh, what's that? Did you want more? Six, seven, eight trillion bajillion. Oh, that's too high. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, that's the highest I can go. My command's not working. Why won't it rain? What's up? I think I broke the game with my <laughs> high tick speed. Okay, it's official. I broke the game. Okay, I just reloaded and it brought me back so far. So moral of the story, do not mess with the random tick speed. But anyways, next up is the, what's it called? The spyglass. Oh, okay, it's a telescope. It's a telescope. It's called the spyglass, but it's really a telescope. That is interesting. You know what we call this? This is Optifine and Vanilla Minecraft. But no, seriously, this is super cool. I love this. And it's so clear. It's not like all like pixely and weird. You can clearly see even really far away distances. Wait, wait, wait. Can I go stargazing? I can go stargazing. Minecraft, you've done it. This is it. It's beautiful. Like, look at that. That, I'm not even joking. That is so pure. Words, words are escaping me. I just want to say it's pretty, okay? It's very pretty. Now, speaking of the word glass, there's also tinted glass, which is very interesting. So I'll go back to night for this, but basically when you put down a torch, tinted glass is, it's like putting a solid block in front of a torch, but you can see through it. So it's like you put stone here. Like you can't actually have the light go right through it, but you still can see through it. And if you're a noob, normal glass is not the same way. You can see right through normal glass. It is no issue. Light goes right through it. But this, woo. But this glass is different. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit counterproductive, but still a cool customization. Now those are all the new features for this snapshot, but they also add in like some changes. And one of those is actually one of the OG components of Minecraft that got changed, and that is rails. Now you can put rails underwater to make like an underwater roller coaster. That is, that's gonna be something. If you're an OG Minecraft fan, this is just like a cursed image right now, but this is the new wave guys. This is how Minecraft is in 2020. Ready? Underwater roller coaster. Let's go. Boom. Let me in. And I got my spy glass too. I can look underwater. Oh, you go slow. You go slow. Okay. I guess you have to use powered rails down here. Let's try it again. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it again. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Okay, so it really slows you down like a lot, but Still, nonetheless, that's gonna make some really cool roller coasters right there. I'm super pumped for this. I guess one more change is that when there's XP on the ground, it bundles together into like one big XP orb, but that's just not the case right now. I thought it was gonna be like one big orb. Okay, whatever. Oh wait, what's that? There's one more change. We've taken out all the audio files for Farzee's voice, now replaced with Re. What is Re? Re! 